خل 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 نیب خویت
of us. While you all eagerly await the commencement of the parade, let us take a glimpse of the history of St. Thomas Mount and the cantonment where the Officers Training Academy is located. Situated at the southern entrance of earlier Madras, now Chennai, the St. Thomas Mount, also known as Parangi Malai, has been a mute witness to historic milestones since 72 AD. The historic church atop the mount overlooks the academy and provides serenity to the entire area. The recorded history of St. Thomas Mount starts with the arrival of St. Thomas one of the twelve apostles of Jesus Christ, in the middle of the first century AD. The apostle attained his martyrdom in 72 AD at the Mount, where a chapel was later built by his followers. This chapel was later dedicated to the Madonna of the Mount, our woman of expectations. The army has had a long association with St. Thomas Mount, which is one of the oldest cantonments in India. It was during the British rule in 1774 that the town became a cantonment. The River Mount has been a mute witness to numerous bloody battles and clashes between the French and British forces. This was the very place from where the British started the consolidation of their empire after defeating the French. Ladies and gentlemen, in view of the solemnity of the occasion, we request you to remain seated while the parade is in progress. Please keep your cell phones in switched off mode and kindly do not step onto the parade ground to take photographs. Devi or Sajjano, aap sabhi se anirod hai ki parade or march past ke dauran kripya aap apni apni jagha par baithe rahe apni mobile phone band rakhe aur kripya parade ground mein photographic le pravesh na kare. Our sojourn into the past will be incomplete unless we touch upon the history of the academy itself. The genesis of the officers training academy can be traced back to the days following the Chinese aggression in 1962 when two officers training schools were established in the country, one at Madras and the other at Pune to make up the shortages in the officer cadre. These courses were designated as emergency commission courses. While the officer's training school at Pune was closed down in May 1964, the school at Madras was given a fresh mandate. The last emergency commission course passed out from here in February 1965. Subsequently, the short service commission courses for gentlemen cadets both for technical and the non-technical streams were instituted. In 1998, this military institution was renamed as the Officers Training Academy. Another significant milestone was achieved in 1992 when this academy started training young women to become officers in the Indian Army. You would be glad to know that since the inception of the academy more than 50 years ago, over 29,867 officers, including 2,612 women officers have passed out. Another benchmark of the academy was increasing the duration of training of women cadets from six months to one year and bringing their training at par with the gentlemen cadets. The first such course with a common merit list passed out on 21st March 2009 and their passing out parade was reviewed by the then President of India, Srimati Pratibha Devi Singh Patil. Over the past five decades, Officers Training Academy has evolved significantly. The long and arduous journey from 15th January 1963 till date has been marked with sweat and toil, with laurels and glories attained and a tradition of honour and valour diligently built. Our dedication and devotion to duty, coupled with unflinching loyalty, Displayed by the alumni in war and peace, their deeds of valor and heroic sacrifices 
all have been aptly recognized and rewarded in the form of the ultimate honor that is the presentation of academy colors to the officers training academy by the then president of india late shri r venkatraman in august 1990 the color of the academy is french gray and blood red gray indicates the strength of steel and blood red background indicates the will to sacrifice the color symbolize the living spirit of the academy representing all that is noble and honorable speaking of honor and sacrifice of the men in olive greens we are reminded of an inscription at the war cemetery at kohima which says when you go home tell them of us and say for your tomorrow we gave our today in a short while from now marcus call will be sounded as we are all aware covid-19 has changed our entire way of living our daily lives accordingly many changes have been imparted in the training as well as in the parade today the cadets will be seen marching smartly with their masks on and maintaining social distance in the contingents that ladies and gentlemen was the marcus call heralding the entry of marcus of the marching contingent They now emerge through the gate of the fort to take up their respective positions on the inspection line. The parade commander, Academy Under Officer Mahadev Singh Rathore, preceded by two cadet pilots, can be seen marching smartly towards the center of the drill square, from where he will take position to command the parade. Corporal Kumar Roshan and Corporal Dik Vijay Singh Rana. are both cadets of the junior course who have been specially selected to escort the reviewing officer they can be seen advancing towards the saluting dais followed by two lancers on horseback they will take up positions on either side of the ceremonial arch and escort the reviewing officer to the saluting dais The markers are lined up on the inspection line from left to right as you see them. They are Company Sergeant Major Karan Upadhyay, Company Sergeant Major Anant Vijay Singh Shikhavat, Company Sergeant Major Sukender Singh, Company Quartermaster Sergeant Vinod Kapshi, Company Quartermaster Sergeant Abhay Pandit, and Company Quarter Master Sergeant Hans Josh Sharma The advance call 
having been sounded. The stage is now set for the contingents to march in. I am sure the parents, friends and relatives of the passing out Coast Cadets have been waiting with bated breath to witness the impressive and grand entry of these magnificent men and women surging forward in perfect unison through the magnificent fort gate into the Parmeswaran parade ground. Today is a red letter day for all of them, attired in their immaculate uniforms, matching steps in unison, swinging arms in perfect harmony, heads held high with pride and elan, and their hearts afire with zeal and enthusiasm. The budding officers vow to declare in unison, not with dreams, but with blood and iron, shall a nation be moulded at last. It would not be wrong to say that the predecessors of these young men and women have had a major role to play in defining India's destiny. They have fought in conventional and unconventional wars, be it in defending our own country or even in foreign lands like Somalia, Sudan, Congo and providing assistance to Sri Lanka and Maldives. Yeah! 
shortly be brought onto the drill square. The colors being the reward for collective heroism have always marked the pride of a regiment. Men have made the supreme sacrifice, displaying acts of death-defying courage and unflinching loyalty to save this piece of colored silk, reverently called as the colors. Colors are the symbols that appeal with an irresistible force to the loyalty of those who are beneath their foes and speak to them of the glories and greatness of the past. Devyo or Sajjano, ab se thodi hi der mein Academy Colors, jise ki nishan bhi kaha jata hai, parade madan par laya jayega. Ye samohik bahaduri ka pratik hai aur hamesha se hi sabhi ke liye गर्व का स्त्रोत रहा है चीर काल से बहादुर योद्धाओं ने इसी रेशमी कपड़े के लिए अदम्य साहस का परिचय अपने प्राणों का सर्वोच्च बलिदान देकर दिया है As befits the solemn occasion and as a mark of respect to the colors, the parade will present a general salute with arms. May I request you all to rise. Those in uniform will salute. Devyo or Sajjano, Nishan ke samman mein parade general salute dega. Aap sabhi se anirodh hai ki jab Nishan ko parade par salute diya jaye, to kripya apne sthaan par khade ho jaye. Vardi dhari, kripya salute kare.
which have been made after the famous battles in India and abroad, where our brave soldiers have proved their mettle. In the contingent spot in front of you, the first contingent of the left is Mekila Company, commanded by Senior Under Officer Rudra Raj Singh Chauhan. The other appointments are Battalion Under Officer Dheeraj Patil, Junior Under Officers Ameya Paralkar, Siddharud Ingaleshwar, Akanksha Singhal, and Company Quartermaster Sergeant Mohit Sharma. The second contingent from the left is Noshera Company and is commanded by Senior Under Officer Darpan Agarwal. The other appointments are Battalion Cadet Adjutant Rohit Singh, Junior Under Officers Noga Kina, Kajal Tomar, Hitesh Solanki, and Company Quartermaster Sergeant Ashish Jha. The third contingent from the left is Kohima Company and is commanded by Senior Under Officer Gursharan Singh. The other appointments are Battalion Under Officer Harshit Singh, Junior Under Officers Vaibhav Kutiala, Karan Singh Kumpavat, Nalan Kumraya, and Company Quartermaster Sergeant Shubham Singh. The fourth contingent from the left is Zojila Company and is commanded by Senior Under Officer Sneha Pandey. The other appointments are Junior Under Officers Amreen Kaur, Sushmita Singh, Yogendra Singh Rathor and Company Sergeant Major Arijit Lehri. The fifth contingent from the left is Jasami Company and is commanded by Senior Under Officer Parvat Patil. The other appointments are Junior Under Officers Jyoti Thakur, Dhananjay, Akshay Boraste and Company Sergeant Major Aniket Salunkhe. The sixth contingent from the left is Philora Company and is commanded by Senior Under Officer Tushar Singh. The other appointments are Battalion Cadet Adjutant Nipun Bhatnagar, Junior Under Officers Shivendra Tomar, Asha Punia, Akhileshwar Ranavat and Company Sergeant Major Swaroop Behra. At the end, standing smartly, is the Academy Cadet Adjutant Varun Ganpati. An impressive tally of gallantry awards of 1 Paramveer Chakra, 8 Ashok Chakras, 10 Mahavir Chakras, 22 Kirti Chakras, 63 Veer Chakras, 119 Shore Chakras and 587 Sena Medals earned by the officers commissioned from this academy bear testimony to the valor and dedication displayed by the alumni of this institution. In the recent past, Lieutenant Navdeep Singh, Lieutenant Sushil Khajuria, Major Mukund Vardarajan, Colonel Munindra Nath Rai, Major David Manloon, Major Vibhuti Shankar Dondial, Major Kostub Rane and Colonel Ashutosh Sharma, who passed out from this academy, made the supreme sacrifice in various operations. Lieutenant Navdeep Singh and Major Mukund Vardarajan were awarded the Ashok Chakra on 26 January 2012 and 15th August 2014, respectively. Lieutenant Sushil Khajuria and Major David Manloon were awarded the Kirti Chakra after they attained martyrdom on 28th September 2011 and 6th June 7, 2017 respectively. Colonel Manindra Nath Rai and Major Vibhuti Shankar Dondial were awarded the Shore Chakra on 15th August 2015 and 15th August 2016 respectively. Major Kostub Rani Sena Medal was awarded Bato Sena Medal after he laid supreme sacrifice on 7th August 2018. Recently, on 2nd May 2020, Colonel Ashutosh Sharma Bato Sena Medal, commanding officer of 21 Rashtra Rifles, attained martyrdom while successfully rescuing hostages in Sachanjiwala, Handwara. These names will always inspire the gentlemen and women cadets passing out when they take their final step at the Officers Training Academy. 
This, no doubt, will inspire these young men and women to emulate the gallant deeds of these brave officers as and when the day of reckoning comes. As you are aware, this prestigious academy is staffed by highly experienced and decorated officers and men who have been chosen for their caliber and proven record and are the very best of the best. The officer on the extreme left mounted on the Charger Prince is the adjutant of the Officers Training Academy, Lieutenant Colonel Ashish Daswal, an alumnus of National Defence Academy, Kharakwasla and Indian Military Academy, Dehradun. An academy cadet adjutant of his course, Lieutenant Colonel Ashish Daswal was commissioned into 14th Battalion, the Dogra Regiment, on 10th December 2005. Lieutenant Colonel Ashish Jaswal has a rich experience of serving on line of control and line of actual control and has actively participated in Operation Rakshak, Operation Falcon and Operation Rhino in Jammu and Kashmir and Northeast. The officer has served as instructor Class C at Indian Military Academy Dehradun from December 2010 to December 2012. He has an experience of a foreign assignment at Lebanon for 13 months as a part of United Nations mission. He has also participated in many joint international military exercises and has been an instructor in joint Indo-Myanmar exercise held in India. A graduate of prestigious Defence Services Staff College, Wellington, Lieutenant Colonel Ashish Jaswal assumed the coveted appointment of adjutant of this academy on 5th August 2019. He has been awarded the Chief of Army Staff Commendation Card in the year 2013 for his commendable professionalism while leading a long-range patrol in the icy peaks of Sugar Sector and Force Commander Commendation Card for his professionalism in Lebanon while serving with the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon. Brigadier Jitendra Ori assumed the appointment of Brigadier Administration of Officers Training Academy in July 2019. An alumnus of National Defence Academy, he is a second generation officer and was commissioned into Regiment of Artillery in 1988. He is a graduate of Long Gunnery Staff Course at Devlali, Defence Services Staff College, Wellington, and is a Master of Science in Defence and Strategic Studies from Madras University. He has also attended the prestigious Higher Defence Management course at College of Defence Management, Sikandrabad. The officer has vast operational experience across a wide spectrum of operations to include counter-insurgency operations in Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab and Manipur. He has served as an observation post officer in the difficult terrain of Siachen. He has also had tenures with the Dark Scouts in the sub-sector north and with the Assam Rifles in the northeast. His command appointments include Command of 34 Medium Regiment in Jammu and Kashmir and Command of 59 Mountain Brigade in Manipur. The officer has tenanted various staff appointments like General Staff Officer 1, in a rapid formation, Colonel General Staff in a strike corps, Colonel Military Secretary Branch and Brigadier General Staff of a strike corps. He has been an instructor class C and B at School of Artillery, Devlali and military observer in United Nations Mission at Congo. For his meritorious service, the officer has been awarded the Chief of Army Staff Commendation Card in the year 2010.
Ladies and gentlemen, Brigadier Jindendra Oru, Brigadier Administration, Officers Training Academy, Chennai. during Operation Power in 1988-1989, where he was awarded Sena Medal. Baptized with operational experience early in the service career, he also served with distinction in various challenging field tenures in line and control in Jammu and Kashmir, high altitude in the central sector and Arunachal Pradesh, super high altitude in North Sikkim and in the North East. In between, he also did one year across the academy the year 1992, which gave him an exposure to semi-desert and desert terrain as also the nuances of mechanized warfare. Having excelled on the courses of instruction, the officer was posted to infantry school in Tamar, followed by his stint in the prestigious Indian military training team Bhutan from 1995 to 1997. After clearing the Defence Services Staff College Wellington, Officer served as Brigade Major of a Brigade in the Ditch Kampat sector of Punjab, which also included the deployment for Operation Parapra. He commanded his parent battalion, 11 Jammu and Kashmir Light Infantry, in the challenging counter insurgency counter terrorism environment of Kokrajhar and Dhubri in Assam, as part of Operation Rhino from May 2004 to March 2007. The unit under his command was instrumental in signing of the Bono Accord and ceasefire with the NDFB, leading to the creation of Bono Territorial Autonomous District. The highlight of his command was the award of Chief of Army Staff Unit Citation to 11 Jammu and Kashmir Light Infantry, which he proudly received on 15 January 2007. His contribution during command was also recognized with Bar to Sena Medal on 26 January 2007. Post command of the unit, the officer was posted as Colonel Administration of Officers Training Academy Chennai for a year plus in 2007 to 2008, where he was instrumental in finalizing the key location project of the institution. After one year of the higher command course at the Army War College, Mahu, the officer was posted to the coveted appointment of Colonel Military Secretary in the Military Secretariat branch from June 2009 to July 2012, where he was awarded Vishisht Seva Medal for Human Resource Management of Officers with Distinction. The officer commanded nine sector Assam rifles, also called the Manipur Range, as Brigade Commander and DIG in the Sensitive Valley area of Manipur, December 2012 to June 2014, 
and played a key role in ushering near normalcy in the volatile state of Manipur by adopting an iron fist in a well-bent club. The officer attended the prestigious National Defence College in the year 2015 and thereafter served as Deputy Military Secretary in the Military Secretariat branch once again, this time with even larger charter of human resource management of the officers in combat arms, in staff and for deputation. The officer commanded 9th Infantry Division, also called as the Pine Division, in the obstacle-ridden terrain of the plains from October 2018 to March 2019, which also gave him an opportunity to validate integrated battle group concept for the Army. After a short stint as ADG Manpower in the Adjutant General's branch, the officer assumed the appointment of Deputy Commandant and Chief Instructor and Officiating Commandant of the Officers' Training Academy on 29th October 2020. The General Officer is a well-read professional and is widely regarded as a thinking man with penchant for professional excellence. He believes in teamwork and relaxed efficiency by providing an enabling environment to all ranks to give their best in the organizational interest. The General Officer is also the Colonel of the Jammu and Kashmir Night Infantry Regiment since 1st November 2018. After an illustrious career spanning nearly 34 and a half years of distinguished service, the officer stands approved for the rank of Lieutenant General. General M. K. Das, Bar 2 Sena Medal, Vishisht Seva Medal, Officiating Commandant, Officers Training Academy, Chennai. General R.P. Singh, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, Vishisht Seva Medal, General Officer Commanding in Chief, Western Command, will arrive to take the salute. Lieutenant General R.P. Singh, Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Ati Vishisht Seva Medal, 
Vishesh Seva Medal was commissioned into mechanized infantry on 12th June 1982. An alumnus of India Squadron at National Defence Academy and Indian Military Academy, the General Officer has attended the Defence Services Staff Course, Higher Command Course and the prestigious National Defence College. The General Officer has held various regimental, staff and instructional appointments. He has successfully tenanted prestigious staff appointments including the Brigade Major of an Infantry Brigade on line of control and an intense counter-insurgency areas in Kashmir, General Staff Officer 2, Military Intelligence 5 at Integrated Headquarters of Ministry of Defence, Colonel General Staff at Army War College Mahu, Brigadier General Staff of Southwestern Command, Additional Director General Discipline and Vigilance, Director of General of Land Works and Environment and Director General Discipline, Ceremonial and Welfare at Integrated Headquarters of Ministry of Defence. He has been an instructor at School of Armed Warfare, Ahmednagar and has also posted as United Nations Military Observer in United Nations Angola Verification Mission 3, Angola. The General Officer commanded a mechanized infantry battalion, an armoured brigade and an infantry division in the Western Theatre. He is a proud recipient of the Param Vishish Seva Medal, Ati Vishish Seva Medal and Vishish Seva Medal for Distinguished Service. Prior to moving to Western Command, the General Officer was the General Officer Commanding of a Strike Corps. He has assumed the appointment of General Officer Commanding-in-Chief Western Command on 1st August 2019. Shortly you will hear the fanfare heralding the arrival of Lieutenant General R.P. Singh, Param Vishish Seva Medal, Ati Vishish Seva Medal, Vishish Seva Medal, General Officer Commanding-in-Chief Western Command, our reviewing officer for today's parade. Lieutenant General R.P. Singh, Param Vishish Seva Medal, Ati Vishish Seva Medal, Vishish Seva Medal, Reviewing Officer of the Parade. Ladies and gentlemen, the parade commander is now moving forward to give the report to reviewing officer of the parade.
Simon, a muzsestőnégek kevítsen meg, beszartál is kellett, rekvár, rek, mehetsen kellett, hazanak! with honor, which epitomizes the code of conduct of a soldier in all times and situations. The Academy has honestly and zealously striven hard to inculcate this lofty spirit in every cadet who passes out from here, so that they can live up to their motto even at the peril of their lives. It is nothing but that sense of honor that may bring them back to their feet and send them in a last charge to hoist the nation's tricolor on the most hazardous of mountain peaks. Proudly holding aloft the academy colors in the center of the parade stands the color party. The on-site cadet is senior under officer Abhishek Tube, flanked by Company Sergeant Major Kuldeep Singhari and Company Sergeant Major Rohan Kala. It is a matter of great honor for these cadets to be carrying the colors. You will notice that the color party stands at attention throughout the parade. The parade ground or the Parameswaran Drill Square 
in front of you ignites in all of us a feeling of reverence and patriotism. We know of this ground as the sanctum sanctorum of the academy, where we grasped the essentials of military life, such as alertness, steadiness, precision and perfection. This parade ground is dedicated to a very gallant son of India, late Major Ramaswamy Parameswaran, Paramvir Chakra and alumnus of Officers Training Academy, Chennai. Major R. Parameswaran was commissioned into 8th Battalion, the Mahar Regiment, on 16th January 1972 as a part of 12th Short Service Commission course, non-technical. While serving as a company commander in Sri Lanka on 25th November 1987, his column was ambushed by the Liberation Tiger Tamil Elam. During the fierce combat that ensued, he was critically wounded. Undaunted and unmindful of his grave injury, this brave soldier continued to inspire his men and finally breathed his last. For this act of exceptional gallantry, devotion to duty of the highest order and supreme sacrifice, the nation honored this great hero with the Parambir Chakra, the highest gallantry award for bravery in the face of the enemy. In that operation, we lost a courageous soldier. A brave heart became silent and still, but not before transcending into posterity and the legendary annals of the history of this academy and our army. The parade commander is now returning to his position to take command of the parade and lead the marching contingents in front of the reviewing officer. The precise movements as the contingents wheel and march to the famous martial tunes exemplify the training imbibed by the cadets in a grueling one year at the academy.
this day on. As young supporters, they will be guarding many of such a foes in the ice cap mountains, where survival itself is a challenge. Whether it is the lovely cold of the glaciers in the north, the stormy desert frontiers in the west, or the dense forests of the east, these young men and women will safeguard the honor and integrity of the nation, always at every front. It is their duty to ensure the defense of the motherland, which will help the nation to grow strength to strength. In their minds, they are convinced that they, who for their country died, shall fill an honored grave. For the glory lies in the soldiers too, and beauty weeps the grave. Today, the Officers Training Academy proudly boasts of having a number of decorated officers amongst its adults. No less than four Mahadi Chakra, four Veer Chakra, and 16 Spinamen were awarded during the Guardian War to the officers who passed out from this academy. Maybe all such is आप सब से अनुरोध है कि जब निशान आपके सामने से गुजरे तो उनकी गरिमा को देखते हुए आप खड़े हो जाए बर्तनधारी कृपया सलूल करें हम देश को उज्जवल बनाएंगे एकता उमंग वीरता के संग बहादुरी की रोशनी फैलाएंगे
with different people and tribes that together constitute this great nation. This inspiring tune stirs in every Indian an unmatched patriotic fervor and has motivated many young men and women during our freedom struggle. The weather gods seem to be smiling today as the golden rays of the sun shine down benevolently upon the glowing faces of these young men and women. is Lieutenant Colonel Ashish Jaspal, 14th Battalion, the Dogra Regiment, the adjutant of the academy astride his charger prince. The adjutant's presence on the horseback is of much significance during all ceremonial parades since he is the custodian of drill, turnout, discipline and for imbibing character qualities amongst the cadets. In this task, he is proficiently assisted by the assistant adjutant, Major Siddhant Malik of 10th Battalion, the Sikh Light Infantry Regiment, and the drill staff headed by Subitar Major Resham Bahadur Guru, Vishisht Seva Medal of 7th Battalion, the 8th Gorkha Rifles. The parade will now march in Samiksha Kram and present a general salute to the reviewing officer for today's parade. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! 
Parade has now formed up for the presentation of awards. Towards the left of the drill square, you can see Company Havaldar Major Tikaran Nimbu of 7th Battalion, the 11th Gorkha Rifles, drill instructor of the Academy, marching smartly towards Vectila Company, the previous term champions. The Chief of Army Staff Banner will be returned to the Academy by Junior Under Officer Sindaru Ingleshwar of Mectila Company. It shall later be presented to the champion company of this term. Coveted awards being presented to the passing out course are Sword of Honor awarded to the best all round cadet of the passing out course. The winner is Academy Cadet Adjutant Varun Kanpati. <laughs> Officers Training Academy Gold Medal awarded to the cadet passing out first in the overall order of merit. The winner is Academy Cadet Adjutant Varun Ganpati. <laughs> Officers Training Academy Silver Medal awarded to the cadet passing out second in the overall order of merit. The winner is Academy Under Officer Mahadev Singh Rathor. Officers Training Academy Bronze Medal awarded to the cadet passing out third in the overall order of merit. The winner is Battalion Under Officer Dheeraj Patil. The Chief of Army Staff Banner awarded to the best all round company of the summer term 2020 to 2021. The winner is Mekdela Company.
The reviewing officer will now present the awards to the proud winners. The award winners, Sword of Honor and Officers Training Academy Gold Medal, Academy Cadet Adjutant Varun Kanpati. Officers Training Academy Silver Medal Academy Under Officer Mahadev Singh Rathor Officers Training Academy Bronze Medal Battalion Under Officer Heeraj Patil The Chief of Army Staff Panel Mekdila Company The reviewing officer will now address the parade.
Commandant, Officers Training Academy, Chennai, distinguished guests and proud cadets of the passing out course. It gives me great pleasure to be here today to review the passing out parade and address the gentlemen and women cadets who are passing out from this very prestigious institution. In the first place, I would like to compliment and commend each one of you on your impeccable bearing and turnout, steadiness on parade, and high standard of drill and marching that you have just displayed my compliments. I would also like to congratulate the Commandant and his team for having toiled hard to turn out such a smart and capable set of young and vibrant military leaders who are the future of our army. Today, you all have completed an important and significant phase of your training and will be joining the world-renowned and reputed Indian Army. You graduate today from being cadets to commissioned officers of the Indian Army. Let me assure you that you have made an excellent choice and have joined a noble profession of arms. The Indian Army has very high traditions of professionalism, dedication to service, courage, and dogged determination and bravery. You will have the honor to command the best soldiers in the world. As young officers of the Army, you are embarking today on a very challenging albeit a rewarding career. You have become custodians of our, custody, of our country's safety and honor. You will be carrying the sacred trust that the nation reposes in you to defend the territorial integrity and unity of our country, both in peace and in war even at the cost of your lives. From this day onwards, you become a part of the coveted Officers Corps of the Indian Army. This undoubtedly will bring you a new status and many privileges. However, let me put a word of caution. You must remember that the added status and privileges also add to your responsibilities towards the organization and the country as a whole. These responsibilities demand from you a very high and exacting sense of purpose and duty, a sincere dedication to your job and profession, implicit faith in your leaders and unflinching loyalty to your soldiers, to the army and to the country. As officers, you have to lead soldiers both during war and peace. You have to so command them, guide them and motivate them that they can give their best to you as their leader. To be successful in this, you have to set a personal example in everything you do. You have to lead by personal example. You have to exhibit the officer-like qualities that have been ingrained in you at this academy. <laughs> you must also remember that qualities like honesty and integrity are a matter of honor for every officer of our army. 
Next, in the order of importance, I would place your professional competence. Because it is this competence that will enable you to earn the respect of the soldiers you command. Your own self-confidence and self-respect depend upon your professional capability. So take pains and ensure you learn your job well and you are the best in whichever arm and service that you are commissioned and whichever unit that you join. Let me also bring out to you a changing dynamics, changing environmental dynamic wherein technology and emerging technologies are changing the face of soldiering. There have been sweeping technological advancements in the form of sophisticated weapon systems, electronic warfare devices, and force multipliers, which have changed the face of future wars. It is imperative, therefore, that each one of you gets to understand these technological developments and you are best suited to adapt to these technological changes and you are best suited to assist the Indian Army in adopting these technological changes and even suggesting brighter and better new ideas in this domain. Ladies and gentlemen, we are, our country is passing through a difficult period wherein we are facing certain challenges threatening the unity and integrity of our nation. As future officers of the Indian Army, you will carry a heavy responsibility in meeting each of these challenges. Armed forces, you must remember, are the symbol of national integration and an example to all, to the entire nation. In our army, we have soldiers from all states, all castes and religions. They eat, play, train and fight together. You have to place your sacred duty to the nation above all other interests and fulfill your oath to uphold the constitution of India and to maintain the unity and sovereignty of our country. On the operational front, as I told you last evening, there is a dynamic environment prevailing and all of you need to be fully aware of the same. But all future conflicts will be earmarked by jointness, jointness between the three services and jointness between all arms and services as a cogent whole. And hence, I exhort the necessity of jointness in operations in the armed forces. You must endeavor to think and plan jointness with other services for the conduct of conventional and subconventional operations. This will propel you to further refine the much needed integration amongst the armed forces of our nation. Today, I am also delighted to see officers, officer cadets from Bhutan, Afghanistan and Maldives who have successfully completed their training. My congratulations to your government and countrymen on receiving such fine young men and women into their armed forces. Each one of you has done extremely well on the course. I also would like to extend my heartiest felicitations to the proud parents and guardians of all our cadets who have motivated their wards to join this noble profession in order to maintain 
the current pandemic environment and protocols. The parents and guardians are not here with us today, but I am certain they are watching this magnificent parade through virtual means oblique on the television. Finally, I would like to wish each one of you good luck and Godspeed in all your endeavors and a very and a very, very successful and happy career in the Indian Army. Jai Hind. The academy colors will now be trooped out. The parade will present a general salute to the colors. May I request you all to rise. Those in uniform will salute.
The passing out cadets are now all set to take formal leave of this academy. For them, the hour has come to bid adieu to the officers' training academy, which has been their home for one year. They will come forward in slow march past the saluting dais, taking their final step to the tune of All Lang Syne. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot and days of all land signs? And surely ye will be your pines too. And surely I will be mine. And we will take a cup of kindness yet for all land signs. This haunting melody of All Lang Syne, the lyrics of which were composed by Robert Burns, has never failed to bring back memories to many minds, nostalgia to many hearts, and tears to many eyes. Gentlemen, comes the defining moment, the time for which this solemn ceremony is being held. The passing of the death will go past the saluting tires in slow march, taking their final step through the ceremonial arch. No doubt, for the passing out cadets, there is a sense of achievement, and for their parents, a sense of great pride. But unheard and unfelt is the transformation and expectation which this occasion demands from each one of them. A momentous occasion indeed, unforgettable and enthralling. I am sure they will forever relive this moment. Even today, all officers experience that nostalgic quiver whenever they hear the tune of All Lang Syne, to the strength of which these young men and women pass out from the Officers' Training Academy today. Time and time, wait for none. Yet, another group of cadets pass out of the Academy. We bid adieu to their alma mater, leaving behind memories in trying to well, the pages of time. Our flag does not fly because the wind moves it. It flies with the last breath of every soldier made the supreme sacrifice protecting it. To borrow the words of Longfellow, lives of great men all remind us that we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints of the sands of time. Dear cadets, our prayers will always be with you. 
wherever you go and whatever you do. May you survive any a storm without losing your calm. May you surmount many a challenge with dash and elan. May the sun never set over your ambitions and aspirations. May your days be always filled with sunshine and happiness. In your hour of crisis, may you remember these inspiring lines of Rudyard Kipling. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on, hold on, yours is the earth and everything that's in it and what is more, you'll be a man, my son. message in passing out cadet is make history if you can make a difference which you can and relatives of gentlemen and women cadets of the passing out course and all guests are requested to remain seated till the reviewing officer leaves the parade ground. Devi on such note, aap sabhi se anurod hai ki parade ground se mukhya tithi ke jane tak aap sabhi apne apne sthaan par baithe rahe. Brother, blue shirt. Brother, one jumped. Sir, what is it? Malak. 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 Malak.